Hey everyone, this is Brimster, and this is number 82 in the Sudoku Problem Series. This is a little killer by Dying Fletchman, and I am always very nervous when it comes to little killer problems. But, um, so the goal on this one, of course, is to place all of the digits in cells marked with an X. The way the little killer works is the clues outside of the grid are the sum of the digits along that the indicated diagonal, so where the arrow is pointing, and digits can repeat along those diagonals if allowed by other Sudoku rules. So there is a link below to where you can try this problem for yourself. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can give this one a try and you can pause the video um, and then um, I will come back and you can explain how this one works. Okay, so yes, um, little killer, probably the, the thing that I am worst at, but we'll see how we go. So um, one of the things to look at at this one is, and the way I started when I was exploring this one, is look at this five clue. So um, if we pay attention, this five clue has to be minimum. The smallest we can put into these two cells are one and two, which is three, and now we've only got two to make up these two cells. So these both have to be one. Now we don't need those for the solution, but they are worth noting. Now we look at this seven clue. We don't have one and two available, but we still need to make seven. The minimum digits we have available are three and four, which makes up the seven. Now we need to make up 18, but the minimum digits we have available are 5, 6, and 7. 5, 6, and 7, if you add them together, 5 and 6 is 11, add 7, you get to 18. So these are 5, 6, and 7, and these become 8 and 9, and that becomes completely forced. Now we can do something similar down here. Um, we've got a 35 clue. Now, if you think about a 35 clue, if we made these the maximum that they could possibly be, which is eight, nine, those are 17. If you subtract 17 from 35, you still have 18 left. And these need to be, in order to get to 18, these need to be two nines. Now we've got to make 13 without an eight or a nine. The maximum digits we have left are six and seven. Six and seven gets us exactly to 13. Now we need to make 12 without six, seven, eight, or nine. If we add the three next highest digits, three, four, and five, three and four is seven, add five, you get to 12. So these are three, four, and five, and these are one and two. Now we can look at this 56 diagonal. So, um, this 56 diagonal, um, if we look at the fact that this 8, 9 sums to 17, this 1, 2 sums to uh, 3. If you add 17 and 3, you get 20. So we've still got 36 to get from these cells. So those cells there, the, the cells we need to figure out must sum to 36. Now the maximum you could put into these cells is 789, which is 24. So we need to get another 12 from those cells, but the maximum we can put there is seven and the maximum we can put there is five. So these must be maximum because that is exactly 12. So that takes five out of those and it takes seven out of those and that gets us those digits. And these must be seven, eight and nine. Okay, so how do we get these digits? So this 24, I'm going to unhighlight the yellow, this, whoop, unhighlight the yellow, uh, this 24 now comes into play. Because on this 24, the, what is the absolute minimum we can put in here? Because 24 is quite a low number for an, for an entire diagonal. Well, the minimum we can put in here, you may turn around and think, well, it's actually 10, but it's not because you cannot put a one in that cell because of that one, and you cannot put a one in that cell because of that one. So the minimum you can put in here is two and three, which is five. And the minimum you can put in here is seven. Five plus seven is 12. However, the minimum you can put in any box is six if you do one, two, three. So this absolutely must be minimum. So this must be two, three with seven. That takes seven out of those. And then this nine makes this the eight, and this the nine, and that's the solution to the problem because you get your five, eight, seven, nine, and seven. I really like this one. It is using a whole bunch of extreme little killer clues to give you stuff that isn't immediately obvious. And that resolution at the end, uh, I think is just very, very cool. So thank you, Dying Fletchman, for submitting this one. Um, really do like this one um, as a little killer. Um, I do like when little killers play with extremes as a break-in rather than are just used as a resolution as, at an end. That is definitely one of the favorite things I have um, with little killer. Um, and if this was a break into a puzzle that then moved into something like XV or something, that would be just really cool. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.